This is a kosher kitchen with a line on the middle of the floor that separates the meat from the dairy side of cooking. There's a sink on the meat side which also has its own oven and stove and its own refrigeration. The same is true on the dairy side which has its own oven and stove its own refrigerator and sink. The kitchen is in Longmeadow, Massachusetts at an Orthodox Jewish synagogue, Congregation B'nai Torah. Tonight there will be a kosher dinner served in this hall in celebration of Tubish Vat, the Jewish festival of trees. A Harvard trained lawyer, Dawn La Rochelle, owns the kosher catering firm that will be providing the food. Kosher catering, first of all, there are very specific rules about what you are and are not permitted to eat and what you are and are not permitted to eat when mixed together. The, the rabbi or mishkiach is required to wash or check all leafy greens. Um, you saw earlier we were checking some mint, lettuce, herbs, asparagus, broccoli. All need to be checked very carefully to make sure there are no bugs in it. Bugs are non-kosher. After practicing law in New York, La Rochelle moved to the Berkshires with her lawyer husband and two children. An avid cook, she noticed the market niche. There were a lot of people, like myself, who were Jewish. Many of these people were keeping at least nominally kosher. In the summer season, there was a large influx of people coming into the Berkshires who were very observant and kept seriously kosher. And I kept wondering what options are there for them to eat, and the answer was there were none. So I decided I was going to open up a catering business. It helps uh, kosher observant Jews um, be able to participate in the sorts of uh, catered events and affairs that uh, people in the broader society can participate in. It is certainly nice and uh, an added perk in a community to be able to support a kosher catering business. Uh, it's very nice for weddings, uh, bar and bat mitzvah functions. Tonight's menu includes apricot glazed chicken with slivered almonds. In kosher catering, close supervision is essential. An official known as the Mashiach is an observant Jew who gets training in the kosher dietary laws or kashrut. And they are here at every event making sure that everything that we do fo you know, follows kosher law. But the reason this exists is because kosher, it's very difficult, it's very expensive, the temptation to cheat is enormous. If you didn't have someone watching you, there are many people who would bend the rules a little bit. Tonight's Tubishat feast celebrates not only trees, but foods from trees, such as fruit and nuts. The, uh, the feast is going to feature various uh, fruits that are connected to the land of Israel, um, uh, figs, dates, uh, pomegranate, um, as well as uh, uh, grapes, um, grains such as wheat, barley. The food is going to be kosher, but it's still going to be um, unique, outside the box, gourmet food that they're used to eating in non-kosher venues. And even a display of pasta in the shape of the Star of David.